What's up YouTube, it's Veer here. Today I will be showing you how to set up a dynamic graphic user interface using .xaml in C Sharp. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is fire up Visual Studio 2019. So dynamic in this case is gonna refer to a resizable window that adjusts the element size and location based upon the window's size. So to give you a visual depiction of what I mean, we're gonna create a new project. Uh, we're gonna use a WPF app on the .NET framework. Press next, and then we're gonna name this one Resizable Window. <clears throat> and then we'll press create. So the first thing that we're going to want to do once this is this project is created is take a look at what just a standard default project is going to do when you try to resize the window. Uh, if there is no specifications for what's going to happen, the window will just open bigger and the elements will remain in their same spot. So while this is loading up, all right, so we're gonna go to the toolbox and drag a button on over into our window. Okay, so this is just a standard button in a standard window. Our height is 450 pixels, our width is 800 pixels. So let's go ahead and run this and see what the result is. What we're expecting to see here is just a standard size window. However, what we're actually going to be taking a look at is what happens when we maximize this window or resize this window. All right, and here we are. So we have a button right here, a little bit to the left and down of the top left corner or the title. And let's see what happens when we press maximize. Okay. So this is where I was kind of talking about. Um, you see that the window just got a lot bigger, but the button still remains about the same exact distance from the top left corner of your window screen. So what we're going to be looking at today is how to change this so that it will dynamically relocate itself and resize itself based upon the window's size. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna be taking a look at is the window elements definition. So these are properties that are set for a window, such as the height and the width. So we're gonna take a look at four different properties that we can specify. Uh, the first one's gonna be window state, and we're gonna set this to maximize. So that is going to make the window open in the maximized state once we run the program. The next property that we're going to specify is the resize mode. We're going to set this to can resize. That way we can make the window as big or as small as we want, any size, and we can see how our elements react to this resizing. The next property that we're going to specify is the minimum height. So I like to set this equal to the height that we have specified over here. And then we're also going to specify the minimum width to be the same as the width here, so 800. I like to do this in practice because that way I'm designing the window for the minimum size that it could be. So even with the can resize mode turned on, uh, the minimum height and width are going to be 450 and 800 respectively. So that means that the window cannot be any smaller than 450 pixels by 800 pixels. This is nice because then that way I'm designing for the smallest case scenario, and I like to believe that elements tend to look better as they get bigger. So I'm essentially designing for the worst case scenario in my own opinion. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna take a look at is the button. And what we wanna do is make this dynamically resizable. So to do this, the first thing we're gonna do is change these horizontal alignment and the vertical alignment specifications. So what we want to do is set the horizontal alignment equal to stretch, and then we're also going to set the vertical alignment equal to stretch. So what this is going to do is make it so that the button will resize as our window is made bigger or small. 
Um, it will most likely change the size of your button, but that's okay. Just go ahead and make it back to roughly how it was or what you want it to look like. So I'll just put it right here in the middle for now. So the next thing that we're going to specify is the height and the width. So right now you see that the width is set to 75 and the height is not specified yet. So we'll just go ahead and make our height 75 make this a square button and what these are really specifying is what the width and the height are going to be when your window is 450 by 800 so in this case when our window is the minimum size we can expect our button to be 75 pixels wide by 75 pixels tall so the next thing that we're going to do is set the minimum width and the minimum height. So similarly to when we specified the windows minimum height and minimum width, I like to make these the exact same as the width and the height declarations. All right, so now that we've done all that, I believe that we're ready to run this program and see what the results are. So when we press start and it starts building, what we're expecting to see is a maximized window with the button approximately right in the middle. All right, so this looks pretty good. We have the button right here in the middle, but what actually matters is what happens when we resize this. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the maximize button here. And as you can see, the window is significantly smaller. It's actually the exact size um, 450 by 800 right here and our button remains in the middle and since we set the can resize mode uh, you can drag this to make it bigger and no matter how big or small this window is the button remains in the middle of the screen which is what we want so now that you've seen how to make a resizable element and corresponding window uh, I would like for you guys to try using other elements. There's quite a few different ones available from the toolbox, and just about every one of these does come with the horizontal alignment and vertical alignment properties. So with that, I'd like to see a lot of different elements try and see what works and what has fidgety issues or things of that sort. And the other thing, once you try different elements, uh, with the horizontal alignment and vertical alignment set to stretch, also try it with the horizontal alignment set to left and the vertical alignment set to top and see how much of a difference that makes when you go to resize your window or maximize your window. Uh, aside from that, I'd like to take a second to go ahead and thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'll get it back to you as soon as I can. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. I'll be making many more just like this one. And happy coding!